All right, guys, welcome back to the core commander combatives. We're looking at essentials today, okay? We're going to be talking about knife disarming tactics or defensive knife tactics. Now, as some of you may or may not know, Fairburn was really adamant on never going hand to knife or empty hands against the knife. Mm. The same thing with modern gutter fighting. We're really adamant that you should never, if you can avoid it, take your hands and try to go against the knife. All right, if you can take a freaking chair, right? The old adage, if you're at a bar, grab a chair and stab it into them or grab a beer bottle and freaking hit them with it or throw it at them. Uh, it's something that my Jeet Kune Do instructor always had harped on back in the day when I was doing Jeet Kune Do with Sifu Brian Carpenter. He would always carry when he was in dangerous parts of the city, sand or dirt in his back pocket, okay? So that way if somebody produced a knife, if he didn't have anything on him to go ahead and fight them off with, he could at least reach in his back pocket, throw the sand, hopefully get them a little bit blinded or a little bit distracted, and he can either go on the offensive, which we'll talk in detail about, or go on the defense and run away. Uh, if you can simply run away, obviously do it. There's no shame ever in running away from a losing situation, okay? Sung Su used to say he will win ultimately who knows when to fight and when not to fight. And that's what we're talking about here. I never, ever, ever want you going hand on knife, okay? Because you're gonna get cut more than likely. You're gonna go to the hospital. And to be quite frank, more than likely you won't survive, all right? Even if you temporarily get the knife and like take it away from him, you'll probably bleed out before help can arrive. And I don't know about you, but I don't typically carry tourniquets and shit like that on me. I'm just not that tactical. So like, forget about it, guys. I really, really, really want you to drive this into your head. And I'm hoping to drive this into your head throughout the program that it's a losing battle going against the knife. I've done a lot of live knife sparring where I'm going hands on knife and I always get cut, okay? I've seen guys get sliced up to where they can't open their hand anymore. And it's really a, a, a non-issue if you just simply don't do it. So long story short, okay, the long and short of it, fucking don't do this if you can avoid it. And Fairburn said the same thing, all right? He was big on keeping a little pistol in your pocket, right? A little 22 Derringer or whatever it may be. Uh, if you have your concealed carry permit, freaking carry, okay? If you don't, you're not in the United States, you're in a communist state, then freaking carry a knife on you, carry something, right? Always be armed to some degree, even if it's a pen, right? This is a common thing we see, especially going overseas, that you can't be armed, right? Even if you're working on a you know, close protection detail and you don't have like a diplomatic passport, chances are you might not be armed. So carry a pen, okay? Carry a flashlight, light them up, you get out, whatever it is. Um, push shit in front of you and them, right? So take a, a piece of furniture and try to push it in front of them, get them the trip. Take your belt off, right? You got a metal belt loop, whack it at them, okay? Whack it at the knife, whack it at their head, whack it at their face. Um, even in this context, right? I'd be thinking about picking up a weight and just throwing it at them. Whatever I can freaking do. Grab, grab something like this and try to get anything you can freaking think of. Um, number one, to put distance between you, yourself, and that weapon, okay? And also, um, something to get get that weapon out of the mix, and hit it out of their hand or hit them in the head and, and get out of there. That's really what I want you to think about doing. Or if you can't get distance, if you can't hit them over the head with something, put obstacles between you and them, all right? Hopefully that, that will aid you, aid you in your egress. So that's what we're talking about. Now, next, we're gonna be focusing on if worse comes to worse. You do have your back against the wall, figuratively um, or literally. What do you do now? Okay, so you're not able to kill them with a gun, bam. You're not able to throw a ninja star at them. You're not able to do anything like that. All right, let's take a look at some viable tactics that will aid you in hopefully surviving through this situation. Notice I didn't say winning it, right? Because there's really no winning. Like the old adage goes, uh, both people are going to the hospital. One's gonna die, one's, one's not, right? Something like that. Uh, that's pretty much what we're looking at here. But we'll give you some tried and true and tested battle proven methods that will aid you in hopefully surviving through if worse comes to worse.